<laughs> Hit a really nice one here down the right side. Really thought I actually made this golf shot because it was right over the flag. Couldn't see it when it landed. It was long and had absolutely nothing. Nothing. One of the best shots of the day, honestly, was probably the tee shot I hit on three, which unfortunately we don't have. But uh, left myself a really, really good look at birdie, just down the hill, breaking left to right. Unfortunately, just kind of uh, didn't hit it with enough pace. Short par four, so you can kind of hit driver and there's this big swale in the middle of the fairway. So you can lay it up short, which is what I chose to do both rounds. Or you can just try and beat driver as far down there as you can and have wedge. Both the kids in my group actually did that. One of them made birdie. Looking back on it, probably should have played a little bit more aggressively. Thanks, DC. Absolutely double crossed the living shit out of it and missed the green left. Chipped it to a pretty decent spot underneath the hole and I absolutely rammed this in the middle of the hole. It was either gonna three putt or make it. It was one of the two. Got a really, really tight tee shot on this next par five. Uh, as a fader of the golf ball, was not really enjoying the sight lines on that hole, but uh, okay. square up the face and hit a really good one right down the middle. And then got incredibly aggressive by accident on the next shot. Was just honestly happy to have a putt that I once again leave short. Yeah, good for. But really, really like number eight, as you can see why coming up here shortly. That's a beauty. Giving Frank the old taparoo. Appreciate you, buddy. Didn't hit an awesome wedge shot here, but uh, left myself a decent look and ended up rolling one in, which is you're not going to see many of these today, but felt good to get one to drop from a decent Hello, distance. Number nine doesn't set up great for a fader. Just really, really claustrophobic. And uh, as you can see, I hit a little bit of a hiya to the right. Honestly, probably where Trey did some of the best caddying of the day. Because if you can see, there's a tiny little gap there over to the right where I thought I could hit a four iron, hook it, and then run it through that gap and run it up on the green. And Trey was a good caddy and had me pitch out. Oh, look, it's my son, Cullen Campbell. How are you? How you playing, boy? How you playing? So didn't hit a great wedge shot, and this is what I had for par. Didn't even give it a chance. Hit one down the right on number 10, and uh, hit one of the most atrocious four irons probably of all time. Pretty happy we don't have that on camera. Yeah, good save. <clears throat> Number 12 is another one of those really kind of awkward driving holes where you have to keep it up the left side to give yourself an angle. Trey gave me a really, really good number and he got me off a club that I was trying to yeah. hit yeah. and got me on the right one and actually and almost hold this one. Okay. Kind of lands just past the flag, sucks back. And then unfortunately me and Trey had a little bit of a, a tough time reading this putt. I thought it broke left. 
Trey thought it was dead straight. And uh, you will see that it does break left. Thanks a lot, Trey. Appreciate that, brother. Pin was right in the middle. Got ahead of it. Kind of flipped it back online. Caught the right side of the green. Made a good three. Is it up? There's a golf swing that you should definitely try and replicate. That's Got Rocky it. Master. Perfect. For some reason, I don't know why, but right before I hit it, I just had a feeling it was going to break more than I thought. So I put it probably like two and a half cups outside yep. left, and this thing just drips in the hole. Hit three. Had some ass sweat going early, and that did not stop. Huh? Let's hit the small pass. Oh, they coming in nice? She, no, it's, it's not too bad. It's just they actually have the belt line. Oh, belt, yeah, the belt line gets bad. Yeah. The pits are probably going. No, the pits are chilling. No, the pits are chilling. Knocked in the right bunker, got it up and down for par. It was good par. Hit a really nice wedge here on 16. That's what I'm Thought I was honestly going to be closer than I was, but yeah, it looks really good. You know, there's another putt that I really wish I would have made, but just really don't feel like mm. I got anything going early, which was kind of frustrating. Good swing, bro. 18 is one of the most claustrophobic tee shots. So there's a tree that hangs over the right side that's pretty high. But then there's this tree on the left that's really only about 2.30 to get to that tree. But you really need to aim at that tree and hit a hard cut, which for me as a fader, I kind of think I like. But I just got a little bit afraid of that tree and just kind of shoved it out to the right and got really, really lucky that I clipped a tree and came straight down in play. Perfect. At this point in time, I was uh, one under par, hit a decent eight iron here to 18. Sweet. And Really felt like I needed something to get going before the afternoon round. Felt really, really good watching this putt go in for birdie on 18 to shoot 68. Way to work. Get around. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Come on. Yep, yeah, exactly. Thanks for watching, well, big dog. Yeah, no worries. Caddy. Thanks for coming Thanks for out. it. Oh. <laughs> we'll go for it. Yeah. Right, um, just shot two under in the morning. Yep, 68. Uh, hit it okay. Got up and down when I needed to. Didn't really make many putts. I do have a little hand cramping situation, so really? keep an eye on that. Oh, yeah, boy. I'm trying to get more hydrated. Um, Maybe get a banana. I do. I would actually like awesome. But yeah, I mean, if I go shoot a couple under, you never know. I think leads at like six yeah. somewhere. I'm just gonna fire at some pins. Nice little hour break. Oh, the pins will be fired at for sure. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go guns blazing. I'm either shooting 77 or 64. It's, let's go. It's one of the two, so right. let's go. Stay tuned. <laughs> and this Perfect next time. one's probably the shot of the day. I uh, had 245, oh, a little wind time. into off the left, and absolutely smoked a five wood, a little high cut. And this one kind of hung out there to the right. A little bit surprising, Legs. but did get a little bit of a bump to start. Yeah, kind of hopped it right. Hit about as good a shot as I could with trying to get it over that tree. Let's pin high. And then here again on 12. Now here on 12, this is a really good uh, view of the Thanks tree up. I'm talking about, where if you don't keep it far enough the left side, I only had 105 yards to this flag, but actually had to hit nine iron I feel like I would have had to swim so softly to seven iron. Yeah. If you guys really enjoy watching putts almost go in, you're really going to like the rest of this video.
I'll take that shit all day. Now I need to make it. There he goes. And then 18, unfortunately, I pulled this one. I was, I was hitting it right at that left tree. I was trying to hit it right at that left tree and fade it off. It just didn't move. Hit the tree directly, kicked left into the hazard. Had to drop here, but hit a really, really nice recovery shot, I should say. Moving into the front nine, I knew that I had to make a run and that I needed to kind of get stuff going. And number one, it's really not that difficult of a hole and left myself a really, really good look. But uh, unfortunately, as you will see, left that one short as well. Yeah. Did you miss a little bit? I missed it. I hit a touch fat. Yeah. But I mean, I'll take the uphill straight up the gut. Exactly. This next tee shot was honestly probably the swing of the day. As I said earlier, there's this bunker over here on the left that if you can get it by, you've really got nothing left into this hole. And I took an absolute hack at it. And uh, connected and hit a really, really good one. Oh my God, that's so far down there. Tom just hit this three wood here. And I can't drive the cart any further, but that's his ball. This hole is 375 and he's going to have about 30. Just diesel. We'll just get this over now. I have absolutely nothing to say about this shot. No. I had a bad one. I don't want to talk about it. Jesus. Good enough to fucking qualify for this damn tournament. Yep, I agree. I was trying to kind of draw this off of the inside of those trees that you can see on the right. Struck it really, really well, but just left it out there to the right. I mean, damn it, I was looking for something to go my way. It just was not my day, but tap-in fours are never a bad thing. Number eight, as you can imagine, is probably my favorite hole. As you can see, right. I will birdie this one two in a row. Two in a, two birdies in a row on number number eight. I very much enjoyed that hole. I wish You're every okay. hole was number eight. Definitely would have qualified then. Too little, too late. Here at number nine, hit a decent one here, and, and honestly, got a little lax today as a call on the golf swing. Kind of hit it thin, kind of pulled it, ended up in the left trap, but uh, <laughs> the sun in my Where eyes didn't short? exactly help me. But. Uh. Hit a really nice bunker shot here, but you know, just wasn't my day. Played pretty solid. And unfortunately, Trey didn't get my putt, but I did make that for the record. I did make it four. Kind of a disappointing run at what I thought could have been a good day if the putter got hot, but just never did. Kind of stayed cold. 